Hello Automation Animal Lovers, welcome back to Creative Sessions. In this video, we will explore what dictionaries are, how to create and use them, and some practical examples of dictionary. So, what is a dictionary? Dictionary is a powerful data structure that can enhance our automation processes. So, imagine a dictionary as a collection of key value pairs. Each key is unique and uh, it points to a corresponding value. For instance, you can have a key name with a value feeder. This makes it easy to retrieve information based on the key. So let's create a simple dictionary. We will use the create variable action. So we'll go to this uh, variable palette and uh, we will click, click on this create variable action. And uh, we will select the dictionary data type. We will give it a name my dictionary now we can add key value pairs using the this uh, add button however this is optional and if you want to add any default value you can use this but i'm not going to add any default value i will uh, add the values later with the help of put action okay let me create click on create and uh, we have successfully created one variable of dictionary data type. You can see this my dictionary. And uh, when we go to action palettes and uh, if I search for dictionary. So we can see this dictionary package and it contains five actions. Now if we want to add uh, key value pairs, uh, then we can use this put action. And, uh, here we need to select the dictionary variable, which is my dictionary. And uh, in key, we need to give the key. Means if we already have any existing key pay, key value pair in the dictionary, and uh, if we use that key here, means if we use that existing key here, then it will update the value of that existing key. And if this key, if we give this key, and this key is not available in the dictionary already, so it will create a new key value pair. Okay. So for example, if I give new key. And uh, here we can assign the value from a variable as well. And we can give the static value also. So for giving the static value, we need to select the uh, data type of the value. And uh, then we can give the value. For example, a new value. Okay. And assign previous value to a variable. If uh, this key is a uh, existing key, then uh, it may have a value. And uh, we can save that value in the existing value uh, in, in any other variable. Means uh, we can create a backup of that value. But this is an optional feature. So let it be. <laughs> now click on save. So this is how we can uh, add the value key value pair uh, in the dictionary. We have successfully added one key and uh, value in the dictionary. Now accessing the values. So now our uh, dictionary contains a key value pair and we want to access this. To retrieve uh, a value, we use the get action. And uh, here we can specify the dictionary name, which is my dictionary and the, and the key name. So key was my, sorry, new key. New key. So it will returns the value of this uh, key so we can uh, save that value in a variable and uh, let me print that variable okay let me run the board and uh, here we go we can see this value new value so this is how we can uh, retrieve the value from the key from the dictionary uh, with the help of key now let's see one more example for example if you already have this new key in our dictionary and uh, if you want to update the value so first of all we, we are assigning the new value to the new key and then we are getting the value and uh, we are printing this value then again uh, we are updating the value or we are assigning the value to this key so this key is an uh, ex uh, existing key because already we have added uh, this key uh, this key value pair in line number one so in line number four again we are using the same key but this time we are updating the value to 
old uh, the value so when we get the new value of the new key again so this time it will give the uh, another value which is old old uh, value so this will overwrite the value of the new key and if this key doesn't exist in the dictionary then it will create the new key pair a new key value pair otherwise it will update the value of the existing key and here we go first we are getting new value and then we will get the old value see so for removing the key value pair we have this remove action to delete the existing one so we can use this uh, remove action and here we can give the name of the dictionary and uh, we can select the key name so it will remove that key from the uh, dictionary new key so here we go guys uh, this is the new key so first we are uh, assigning a new key to this dictionary then we are removing the new key and when we will try to get the value of the new key because this key has already removed uh, in line number 2 so let's see it is not showing the error but it is giving the blank value because that key has uh, removed in line number 3 so in line number 4 we can't get the value so in, in the key has removed in line number 2 and we can't get the value in line number 3 okay now let's see how can we loop through a dictionary to iterate through all key pa key value pairs use a loop and uh, we can access both the key and value within the loop so let me show you generally we use this loop stage uh, in uh, when we use the api so we get response in the dictionary so at that time we use this dictionaries for each key in the dictionary for each value in the dictionary we have two options so let's uh, iterate on keys so dictionary variable my dictionary and the assign current value to a variable sample string so if you want to print the name of uh, if you want to print all the keys so you can use this uh, loop and if you want to print all the keys you can uh, select that for each value in the dictionary all right so let me run the word And if we talk about practical use cases, then uh, dictionaries have numerous uh, applications in automation. Here are a few examples. Storing configuration settings, mapping data between different systems, creating custom data structure, etc. So dictionaries are a versatile tool in automation anywhere. By, un by understanding how to create, manipulate and iterate through them, we can significantly improve the efficiency and the flexibility of our automation processes. I will uh, en encourage you to practice with uh, your own dictionaries. And uh, if you want to see the size of the dictionary, means how many keys are there or how many values are there, we can use this size action. We, we can just select the uh, dictionary name and uh, we can save the output in a variable. sample number so in our dictionary we have only one we have one key so let me create one more key so i have added five uh, keys value pair in the dictionary uh, see the size of the dictionary and uh, like we have uh, and uh, as we have uh, is assign action in other uh, data types also like in string or uh, in number etc similarly we have this assign action in dictionary also 
So here we go, we can see the fives because our dictionary contains five key value pairs. Thank you guys for watching this video. Do let me know if you still have any doubt or any question in the dictionaries.